friends, Romans, countrymen, fellow hoi people, am I ever gonna come around to actually streaming this again? Yeah, I actually am. I am gonna stream this tomorrow. Well, I thought of actually streaming something else tomorrow, but and making this just a fully recordable episode. But I decided to maybe, maybe, maybe we can do two in one. So what I was planning to do is maybe do the streaming of Hello Finland, trying to survive the, as them in Ensig, and Hello Italy, maybe surviving as them as well, and do some kind of double stream tomorrow i won't promise anything like that's that's one thing i'm clear about i won't promise anything but double stream sounds pretty goddamn nice don't you agree and i need some more light there we go uh i can't promise anything and uh, like we might just do one stream that is pretty long like four hours but um yeah we'll see so maybe some surviving as italy surviving as finland and then playing as japan so yeah, look forward to tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, we'll now continue this episode. Just want to make that announcement. So, how are we doing right now? We are pushing into China and we're kicking their ass. Uh, I realized that one thing I never did was actually just show off this modifier once we actually have it. Which basically means we have 20% bonus attack against everyone. Well, really only Republic of China because they're the only ones here now. They've eaten all the... Actually, it would have been against everyone plus... Yeah, we don't have anything, Xing have any- yeah, yes we do, lost, lost bon modifier. So yeah, whatever, we have 20% bonus attack and 5% bonus defense, so that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we would have slaughtered them anyway, I think. We have just so many more troops right now, with, that is pretty much so much better. Uh, let's see, we have 15 guys right here as military police, well, you are gonna be moved up now quite a bit. Uh, you're not gonna cover anything, well, coastal, but still you're gonna cover everything else. Come on, I can't select it and unselect it like 16 times, that's just retarded. Uh, there we go, that's one advancement. So yeah, we're gonna push in right there, finish off China. Then we can start gathering our forces against British Raj. And we will just hope that Soviet Union doesn't declare war against us just yet. Because the longer we can delay, well, the better for me. Uh, we also had someone suggesting that, su suggesting that I could actually, if I puppet Xinjiang, then we, if we give them this state, we could pretty much block off the Soviet Union. And I'm very, very, actually, we can give it to just my normal puppet right there. Uh, do you, anyone have a claim right here? Um, well... Well, not any one of these have any course right there, which was what I tried to say right there. Huh. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, because it would be nice just creating this wall of puppets against Soviet Union. So, once the war really begins, it will be on my terms rather than the terms of Soviet Union. That was basically how I survived as German as well. Creating a wall of puppets and then, well, removing it at my choosing. Because we can always just annex them Norway, we build them up and then we annex them that way. Uh, yeah, I think I will give my click, you'll get that one, and Xinjiang will get this province. So it will be slightly ugly borders, but I, I think it's pretty good. Actually, we could take this one as a trade with Xinjiang. Yes, you will have a straight name right over there. I will take this province in change. And yeah, we'll 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 see. We'll see right now. So, um, how are you doing? Yes, um, we're doing quite fine. Uh, let's see. Menkian, click. Uh, that's actually your territory, really? Oh, then we don't actually have to give anything to them. But uh, let's see. Wait, we never got them in a peace deal because we never really fought against them. Oh my god, really? Then all my talk was is completely in vain. Oh my god, that's such bullshit. Really? Really? Well, that sucks. Um, then I guess we're just gonna annex the crap out of them. To be honest. Uh, we could, of course, make a very, very small Chinese puppet right there. Of six points. Just to block everything off. Let's see. Um... That's just, yeah, okay, so I won't have to give anything more. I was basically thinking maybe they will get these two provinces so we block off the Rosh as well, but no. <sighs> That's kind of sad. All my plans just were broken off right now. Some of you will be really angry at me just not puppeting them, so I, well, I won't get their manpower and stuff like that. But I'm, for the love of God, Japan. 
I don't need that. I have enough manpower, and if I need more manpower, I will of course take from the Great Empire Manchuria. Actually, I am one thing about that. That's let's see. As Blamaster six thousand said, I am gonna show you one thing. So we are annexing the crap out of everyone right here. Are we still at war with them? Um, well, we are not too bad. It would be nice to actually get that stuff. Well, it's only because of military factories, really. You don't have many resources that that I actually need, but. Let's see, your manpower is 999,000. Of course I should recruit some troops from them. But that will make them more autonomous. So I was thinking, how can, well, is there any more benefit of doing it? Yes, of course, as he also mentioned, Blamaster, that, well, my troops would actually be deployed right here. But then it hit me. If I actually do this, oh my god, that's a whole lot of units right there. Let's find the most piece of crap unit they have right there. We'll copy you. We'll deploy, let's see, as many units as I possibly want right there. And once they're done, we can just change them into any other template. We'll just change them into good, the good Japanese template that I want. So we get the units over the sea with the current well, template I want, with my manpower, with my equipment, just exactly where I want them. So I don't have to do any kind of transfer or anything like that. It's just a simple win-win, and if for some reason I would need their manpower, well then we can just use their division as well, but for now, we're looking really good. Alright, uh, let's see, I'm not gonna get that many more troops, I'm gonna get additional, let's say 24 more troops. Just anywhere, anywhere right there would be great. Uh, so, how are we doing right now? We need to take all of you guys and just deploy it right there and right over there. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, actually, no, wait, 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 that's not how we've done it. What we've done is take this single guy. Uh, that's unnecessary, we're just gonna take all of you and just lovely deploy you like that. 40 divisions, 40 divisions. Yeah, your 42 division is cool, then we're gonna grab you again. Come on, don't unselect half of them. And we're gonna do split, 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 come on. There we go. That's gonna be awesome, you guys unassign, and there we go. We have 22 units right there, you're good, 10 divisions, you are going to be transferred into that pile. Uh, you 28 divisions are done, you 6 divisions are also really looking really nice right there, 9 divisions defending there, cool. 3 divisions up here, defending especially against US, cool. And these 31 divisions are now, well, swarming around right here to, well, defend everything. You should be going in there and grabbing that, oh wait, we're not at war with France. We're not at war with France, never mind then. Okay, and uh, garrison units are no longer necessary because, well, this is my land right now. But the garrison units will very much be useful once we go into the bush wash. So, it was not, uh, well, anything in vain or anything like that. Cool. Uh, how is actually the supply over here? Uh, it's alright, it's not the best. So, if I could add a lovely logistic company right there. Yeah, that would be pretty good, but we are missing quite a bit of stuff, though I'm still gonna add it. Because we're just gonna have to, well, do some slight changes to fix that. We can bump this one up quite a bit. And motorized, motorized, motorized. Why are we not? There we go, there's motorized. You can go up to 5 and be bumped up right there, and that should make it alright. Uh, with that, all that extra reason, well, it... With all these extra well factories get from China, we should be looking pretty goddamn good right now. Yeah, as you can see, we're building with a crap ton of factory factories right now. We have 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75 factories right now. All civilians just producing well, actually 80. So that's really, really good. Hmm. Now that means that barely any are actually. Fact destroyed right now. We are 10 you know, factories that are currently destroyed in one way or another. So yeah, I say that's pretty goddamn good. We're looking mighty, very mighty right now. Surprisingly quick as well. Uh, how are we doing right here? What the hell are you doing, my dear little? Oh my god, really, really? That's the way you chose to go in? Oh my god, you're you're so freaking dead. You are so dead. It's not even funny how dead you are. And I can't forcibly, forcibly remove you. Getting my fleet down there would take way too long time to actually save anyone. I'm gonna try, but... No, no, you're just dead. You are just plain out dead, so I'm just gonna expand you guys. And I doubt you're gonna escape either. Yep, you died. No, wait. No, you didn't. You survived. Woo! <laughs> and then we have this one guy. 
Uh, yeah, you are also so dead, so I'm just gonna spend you two as well. <coughs> <coughs> sad times. Very sad times. So U10 are basically replacement units rather than and if something extra. Actually, not even replacement units. I think we're at 85. So we still lost four divisions. Well, we basically get them back right now, but still sad. Sad times. Uh, what the hell is... Oh, right. This invasion. Well, you're dead right now. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Anything else we're doing? Right. We were supposed to get maintenance companies. So that's something we should focus on as well. Like all of these episodes we have right now is me basically cleaning out... Well, cleaning out China and now we're going to focus on the British. So it's all really just preparation episodes in time for a war against... Well, the mighty next enemy, which is Soviet Union. God, it's gonna be quite a hard, harsh war right there. But let's let's begin pushing in right here. So we won't be able to go in alongside this entire front unless we call these people in. But I don't want to open up well that much of an extra area to actually defend against naval invasion. So I'm just gonna try to push in through these two provinces and then well open up this by pushing into their land. I think it should be alright, because they're now spread out alongside this entire thing, ready for me to, well, call my puppets into war at any moment, which I'm definitely not going to do. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the, enjoy the show of them trying to defend too much. So you guys are gonna move in right there, come on, just take this down, thank you. <coughs> and we're gonna continue, let's see, anything else we can do right now? You are pushing in right here, well, I'm actually gonna tell you guys to be super aggressive, which you always are, nice. Uh, so I wonder, why in hell are you not attacking that guy? Thank you. Okay. This is do this is done, this is done. Um yeah, so we're we're good. I I don't really know what more to say. We're good. Uh where's the garrison divisions? You twenty eight divisions. No, you the twenty two. Okay, who the hell are you? You're these thirty one divisions. Okay. I'm gonna move you up right there so I actually keep an eye at you. These are my free garrisons. You six divisions right there, you're also part of the garrisons, so and honestly, all of you should be placed right here. God, we have lots of garrison units. Everything, garrisons everywhere. Uh, let's see, these three divisions are also some kind of garrison. Yes, not a proper one. Hmm. Could I take you three guys and actually... Uh, let's take one of them. And just try to move up right there now. Maybe the US have banned that attempt. Uh, maintenance companies level, I don't know, X? 10? <laughs> no, V. Really? Did it say... A oh my god, I am blind. Then. Uh, let's see. Well, is that level 10? 4, 5, 9? Wait, what? Yeah, that's 9. Then this is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, so on the pop up they only show the X. But. Okay, so these icons are not. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, I'm not insane. These icons are not following what they actually are. <laughs> like you see, this maintenance company X. That's why it, why it made me so ridiculously confused. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm Okay, I'm slightly crazy, but not in this case. Let's see, so can we continue right here? No, we can't because we're still doing rocket things, yes. Uh, let's see, this we're upgrading. Sure, let's, let's get a synthetic refiner as well. We might need it in the future. Uh, okay, we will very much not mean it in f any kind of future that, well, I want to live in. If we lose all of that rubber, then we're doing something severely wrong. Uh, let's see, anything else we can do? Yes, we can actually get uh, some upgrades right there. That would actually help me. Uh, right here, we're trying to push in as, well, partially as possible. Let's just keep doing it right now. Uh, but it would be nice if we actually attacked at the same time, because guess what happens? You win. So please attack right now. Uh, what else? We, well, other things we can do is now upgrade our current fighters. Yes, more uh, more agility, more more agility, more max speed, which is gonna be very lovely for my jet fighters. Let's see. We're gonna get the last construction right there. Um, both of you guys. What did I just tell you? Attack at the same time, and what happens? You win. If you don't win now, I'm gonna be pissed. But you should win. Come on. 
in the north right here, how are you doing? Uh, you're winning, but not winning well as quickly as I would like it. So yeah, we are ignoring this unit, but we're just gonna take him on as soon as we pa cross this river. Uh, let's see, right here, you are pushing in slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's see, but you have supply, which is a good point. Right, these units aren't that supply heavy, since you are very, very basic. You're not good at all. We're definitely gonna have to fix that later. Uh, forward interception, awesome, let's see, do you have any bombers over my main island? Yes you do, but we should pretty much be intercepting every single one of them right now. I shouldn't see any buildings bombed at all, that's lovely. Hmm, can we do something more? Can we assign them on maybe air superiority? Oh wait, we already have air superiority. Okay, good, then we're doing what we can do, nice. So yeah, just keep, keep going with that can-do spirit. Uh, let's see, that's done, that's done, that's done. You guys are pushing forward right there. Let's see, was there any more comments about my horrible play? Uh, right, right, Mountain Air Force. There are lots of mo mountains in southern China. <coughs> and India. But now... <coughs> now we're... <coughs> now we're already pushing into um, India and... Where the mountaineers would have been useful, we're pretty much already past that area. God, I would need some water right now. God damn it, I forgot to fill up my water glass, which I always do before I start recording, just in case, after my last cough attack. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. <coughs> okay, we're not good. We're... In not gonna be good for the rest of this episode. We really need to drink some stuff. Uh, let's see, we have 15 more minutes. So if I actually run away right now, then it would take me basically 20 seconds. Let's get that one. And <laughs> let's put something on that for your enjoyment. I'll be back. Much better. Much, much better. And yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna cut it away. Which you actually know now since you're actually seeing it. Sometimes I make very unnecessary comments. Uh, let's see, you guys, you're your garrison right there. That are completely useless. Okay. Well, you're not gonna be completely useless quite soon. We're soon reaching an area that we do wanna take down. Actually, hello, Tibet. Hello, Bhutan. Wow! Wow! Hello, Bhutan! Hello, Bhutan, my old friend. It's time to justify against you again. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a lot of factories. 14 lovely, lovely factories that I'm just gonna eat up. Mm. I love Bhutan. Bhutan Ensig, 1945. <laughs> No, unfortunately nothing since, well, they're no, never going to war. They have 5,000 manpower, 14 civilian factory. I think I can do something with them. Hmm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but that would just be a troll mode. Uh, let's see, war bonds, I would love to get that right now with many other things, but for now, let's just ignore it. Uh, actually, why, why ignore it? That's the next thing I'm gonna pick, yeah, I'm gonna pick the war bonds. Okay, uh, pa -pa 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 -pa, where do we have a US invasion? Yeah, we have one up here in the north, well, you're gonna move over right there, and then we're just gonna take you down with both of these divisions. And that, I love short war goals, I love Japan. Let's see, um, you're gonna continue that battle, and then we're gonna take you guys and just, well, invading both those provinces. Hopefully you won't join the allies, because you are autocrat, like me, so I can just basically annex you ASAP. But somehow, I, I feel like you're actually gonna join the allies, just to screw with me. Let's pick the next one right there, oh god, that's out of time, but still, I, I want it right now. I want it right, or as soon as I possibly can. It's a 39 version, it's gonna take me one year to get, so I'm gonna be one year out of time with it. Actually, more than one year out of time with it, so... Yeah, I think that can be pretty good. Uh, let's see, can we upgrade you? Yes, we can, then we're gonna do it. We're gonna up upgrade you as much as possible. There we go, move in with everyone, come on. 
Actually, why, why, why are we doing this? They don't have any units at all. We can, can just go for them right now. You move in right there with one unit actually and one unit right there. Okay, there's two units right there now, but of course you'll be called in. So, ga hello garage units. Well, you have a new target. You're gonna cancel what you currently have. And you're gonna be <laughs> only guarding Bataan, I guess. No, you're gonna guard this, this, and that region. All of these regions, thank you. And that's only gonna be, well... Oh, because this is up. Uh, let's see... Let's do like this. Let's actually do like that. Yeah, that sounds nice. And we're gonna take these garrison units right here. You are gonna start covering... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna cover this region and... Actually, if I cover that region and this region... Then 22 more soldiers could join up with you. But that would mean I would have to guard the coast. I do want to keep this super well locked down. No, I'm going to keep you as your own separate thing for now. I think. Yeah. So I'm going to just remove this. Actually, we're going to garrison that, but yeah. Uh, let's see. You guys are ready, so I'm going to deploy these 24 units right over here. We're going to take all of them and just change to this is what I want. God, we're missing a lot of equipment right there. So let's instead do that like this. We are changing all 24 of you, but we're cancelling all of you. Thank you. And why did you suddenly become regulars? You were not trained at all. Why did you become regulars? Because pup puppet units are trained? Wait, what? Yeah, this... Okay, you're not gonna have any experience at all. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. Because the few units right there become... Uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see, all of these units. You have 10 units right here. It's going to open up my front more against the British Rush right now. But it feels like some that's something I actually want to do right now. Hello, Nepal. Okay, we're going to kill Nepal first as well. Which means this is actually just um untouchable area, except this tiny one. We're going to wait with Nepal until we're taking down, well, a lot more of India. We're going to wait with Tibet until we're taken down a lot more in India. Let's see, how how are you guys now dealing with supply? You're still fine. Nice. I love using bad units because, well, you have low supply. Uh, we're going to deploy you right there and we're going to train the crap out of you. We're just going to keep training, especially now when you don't have... Okay, it's just going to take a while. It's just going to take a while. You, you just stay there and train the crap out of you. All this because I don't want to transfer with the units right there. Maybe I should just have used a proper units from my puppets and then change them. Ugh, well, doesn't matter that much. There we go, jet engines, thank you, and... Nah, we're not going to do anything more right there. Let's just get nuclear reactors. And let's see, what else can we do right now? Well, I don't know. We can just sit here and, well, enjoy the show of me taking down the lovely little place called India. I, I, yeah, it would be nice with some curry right now. Uh, so, guys, please move, just move in, take them down, and then we're basically just going to continue right now. Persia is in the Allies, Iraq is in the Allies, United Kingdom, of course, is in the Allies. Uh, so we're just going to move in right here and take, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take down everything right here, and then we're going to turn against Soviet Union. Uh, this would be nice. This would actually be really nice. Hmm. And in the meantime, we're getting more and more factories that we're going to assign on tanks. And that's going to be the force that storms over the Manchurian border and brings down Soviet Union. A real big, nice pile of tanks. Let's see if we can actually start creating it. Hello, Armored. Uh, let's see, modern tank, modern tank, modern tank. Let's see, do anything else. Uh, I would like to see how good, actually, the modern tank. Let's see, just jump in to anywhere. Let's go right there and... Damn it, I should have saved that for first, but let's see. You have soft attack 45, you have soft attack 160. We should probably get some some of them. Yeah, we should probably get a lot of them. So we're going to leave some room for some potential SP guys. But um, for now, actually, we it barely costs any experience points at all. We can just add it later. I think what I do want is something like... Uh, I want a pretty light, uh, light modern tank division, or do we? Do we want something super light or super heavy? Wait, that organization isn't too bad. It's pretty decent, to be honest. 
Are we getting more from adding tanks? Yes, we are. So, if we ignore any kind of mechanized unit into the abyss... Let's see. That would be kind of fine. Why would I produce mechanized? I'm already getting everything I need. It keeps my armor high. I'm not gonna get any mechanized if I can avoid it. So, up, 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 your modern tank, please. So, let's just begin with this. Uh, of course, we can add M maintenance right there, logistics, uh, probably field hospital. We are actually right, maintenance. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna have you being support anti air instead. Just so we get this. Right, you are mul yeah, you are everything right there. You are a must. But why in hell does it say military police right there? You're supposed to be field hospital. I think this sounds uh, looks a lot better. Just as a basic division at least. And organization 18.6, it's pretty bad. Do I really need to add some more mechanized? At least you only cost two combat with, so it would be decent. If I switched out like one tank against one mechanized just to get... Not heavy tanks, oh my god. To one mechanized. Ah, that would be pretty good. To over 20, like I want it to be over 20 at least. And adding any SP guys, SP tanks in will be very expensive in both organizations. Okay, we might, whatever. Let's let's just make that our basic one. And we're gonna get, let's see. I want, want to begin with five divisions. You're all gonna be deployed right there. Actually, why, why in hell are you gonna be deployed right there? We can just do the same thing. You don't have any un Oh, actually, you have quite a bit of units right or navies right there. Uh, I will just switch out five divisions from here to begin with when I need them. <sighs> Damn it. We're gonna have to produce more units right here. Let's just get another... Like, I don't really care what you are or what are you doing right now. You should have the lowest freaking priority. You should be absolute crap right now. Uh, let's see. Let's do like this. Update. Um, I just want some units right there that I can switch into something I need for, well, when I need it. So, 20 divisions, you're standing there, that would be awesome. Uh, these 24 divisions, you are training away. Do you have all your stuff? Pretty much, you have all your manpower, very nice. So I could technically deploy you right now, but I don't really need you for anything. Uh, did we do another justification? No, we did not. So we're gonna do one justification in Nepal, but I'll have to end the episode right now. So, next time you see this, we're gonna continue with the British Raj, we're gonna continue in, well, cleaning up all of these Asian nations, continue into the Allied territory right there. We are maybe even gonna advance out right there and start garrisoning these islands again, because, well, they are very, very slow on actually advancing right there, so that would be pretty nice, just keeping all of this in mind. Yeah. But anyway, we'll have to see next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.